Well, building a smart home with Apple HomeKit is a thorough process. However, there is a recurring problem that is compatibility with the wider world of accessories available to Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. And that's where HomeBridge comes in to fill in that void to maximize on Apple's platform. So in this video, I'll show you nine HomeBridge plugins that you love. Plus it makes it easy to add security, control, and do a lot more to your smart home all through the Apple Home app. Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't be shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along and to also get some good karma. So as an avid user of HomeBridge, I thought of sharing my nine HomeBridge plugins that you love and also makes it a lot more easy to control your smart home all through the Apple Home app. And guess what? I am using eight of them. Just in case you didn't know, HomeBridge has the ability to integrate with many smart home devices that you probably own and use. Essentially, it's a free open source software that emulates the HomeKit application protocol. Now, you can install the software on an always on and always connected device like a PC, Mac, network attached storage or a Raspberry Pi. Now, if you don't have HomeBridge up and running, don't worry. I have installation videos and guides with their links in the description. Plus, you can also schedule a session with me to install and configure HomeBridge plugins. For all of these nine plugins to work with HomeBridge and Apple Home app, you will only need your username and password. No more, no less. And you don't need any developer qualifications. Plus, the result of all of this awesome work is that accessories previously limited to Alexa or Google Assistant can now be controlled through Apple Home and Siri. So if you are ready, let's go through the HomeBridge plugins. Have a ring doorbell or security camera? This HomeBridge plugin allows control of all ring supported products like doorbells, cameras, plus the alarm system. From the HomeBridge plugin screen, search for HomeBridge ring. Click install on the verified plugin. Enter your ring account information and click login. Enter the verification code sent to the phone number you have on file with ring. Click on link account. Then click save and reboot HomeBridge for the changes to take effect. After the installation is completed, all of your ring devices and video feeds will appear together in the Apple Home app. Now, I must also mention that I found a way to enable HomeKit secure video for your ring cameras. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on it. Now, who hasn't heard about Tuya and all the white label products that have flooded the marketplace? Well, they support an extensive list of devices sold under many brand names and are really affordable. Typically, their devices work with the Smart Life or the Tuya app itself. So if you have one of those apps installed on your phone and have their smart devices, then from the plugin search bar, type HomeBridge Tuya Web. Click install on the verified plugin. Enter your account information, country code, and then select the platform on where the devices are installed. So it could be to your smart, smart life, or Jinvo. However, there are several advanced customization options. So for more details, you can always visit the plugin documentation that I have left a link in the description. Click save and reboot HomeBridge for the changes to take effect. After installation, all of your two-air devices will appear in the Apple Home app. Now, this next brand was the first I had in my smart home and also another popular brand called Sonoff. Now, just like Tuya, they also support an extensive list of devices and are really affordable. So if you have the EV-Link app installed on your phone and have their smart devices, then from the plugin search bar, type EV-Link. Click install on the verified plugin. Click on continue, enter your account information and select the connection mode as hybrid. From here, no additional configuration is required. Then click save and reboot the HomeBridge service for the changes to take effect. However, there are several advanced customized options. So for more details, you can always visit the plugin documentation that I've left a link in the description. Now, this next brand is so popular that even Amazon has acquired the company 
for approximately $1.7 billion. That's your iRobot Roomba vacuums. Now from the Homebridge plugin screen, search for Homebridge iRobot. Click install on the verified plugins. Enter your iRobot account information and click save. Then reboot Homebridge for the changes to take place. Now after the installation, all of your Roomba devices will appear under devices and will appear together in the Apple Home app. However, there are several customization options that you can choose. So for more details, you can always visit the plugin documentation that I've left a link in the description. Now, if you want all of your installed Casa Smart App devices to appear in Apple Home App, easy. You'll definitely need this plugin as it will automatically detect TP-Link devices connected to the Casa Smart App. Now, that's the beauty of this plugin as it needs no account information. So all you have to do is search for Homebridge TP-Link Smart Home, click install under the verified plugin, click save, reboot your Homebridge server and your Casa Smart enabled devices will be automatically populated into the Apple Home app. No further configuration is needed. Now, when I think about this popular smart home brand, I think of Oreo biscuits and that's Shelly. They support an extensive list of devices, affordable, high functionality and reliable. Just like the TP-Link plugin, it will automatically detect all of your Shelly devices connected to the Shelly app. All you have to do is search for Homebridge Shelly, click install under the verified plugin, click save, Reboot your Homebridge server and your Shelly devices will be automatically populated into the Apple Home app. However, there are several customization options available. So for more details, you can always visit the plugin documentation that I have left a link in the description. Now, tell me who doesn't have a Samsung Smart TV. Another popular brand, however, unlike LG, it doesn't support Apple HomeKit. Now for this plugin to work, you must watch this video as you will need a smart home tool to integrate the TV into Apple Home app. So search for the plugin called Homebridge Samsung Tizen in the Homebridge plugin screen search bar. Click install under the verified plugin. Now using the LandScan app, you will need to add the IP address and MAC address of the TV, give it a name and then click save. Then all you have to do is reboot the Homebridge service for the changes to take effect. Now after the installation, your TV will appear together in the Apple Home app. However, there are several customized options available for this plugin from switches to uh, controls. So for more details, you can always visit the plugin documentation that I have left a link in the description. Now. Right now I'm building my smart home and currently living in a rented apartment and we are able to control our Homebridge devices using both Apple HomeKit and Google Home. And if your smart home has Android users, then the Google Smart Home plugin is perfect for you. Plus it allows control of smart devices from any Google Home enabled smart speaker. Now in the plugin screen of Homebridge, search for Google Smart Home. Click install under the verified plugin. Now during the installation, you'll be asked to link your Google account. Once your account is linked, click save. Now next you'll need to head over and connect your Homebridge service in the Google Home. Open your Google Home app and tap on the plus sign in the upper left corner of your screen. From there, tap set up device, works with Google, Use the search function to search for Homebridge. Install and log into your previously linked Google account. Then choose the devices you'd like to control with Google Home. Now to finish installing, all you have to do is reboot your Homebridge server. Now to use your Homebridge devices, all you have to say is, hey, followed by commands like dim the lights or turn off a certain device. And after this, you will have another smart home assistant controlling the same smart devices. Now, if you prefer to use Alexa and operate only your home rich devices, supports all Alexa smart speakers and uses a skill based approach for integration, then go to the plugins, use the search function to look for Homebridge Alexa 
and under the verified Homebridge Alexa plugin, on the left, select install. You'll also need to make an account on homebridge.ca. Next, head to your Alexa app on your iPhone or iPad, open the app, tap more, skills and games. Now use the search function to search for Homebridge and enable the skill. Return to your computer and enter your login details into the Homebridge Alexa settings. Click save, reboot Homebridge. For full plugin functionality, the developer has a subscription model in place as there has been a high demand for the plugin, plus there are ongoing costs to support the cloud services. Now this monthly price is cheaper than a cup of Starbucks coffee and you are guaranteed the continued delivery of service. Now, if you're a smart home user that's invested in Nest products and if you want a plug and play Nest integration solution, you have to check out Starling Home Hub, which is an affordable out of the box solution. It's a little box that connects to your home router so you'll be up and running in minutes without needing to set up a home bridge server, manually edit configuration files, or worry about authentication tokens. Basically, it's a painless integration and this is one of my recommendations to not use Homebridge to integrate your Nest devices. So the Starling Home Hub also supports Nest cameras, including the August 2021 battery powered models and Nest Secure Guard and Detects. So just like that, these are my nine Homebridge plugins that you'll definitely love. Plus it makes it easy to add security control and do a lot more to your smart home all through the Apple Home app. Let me know in the comment section which plugins you are using and if they are easy or hard to configure. Plus, if you need any help, you can always schedule a session with me. I also have detailed tutorial videos on all of those plugins that I mentioned in this video. So you wanna check out these Homebridge tutorials and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.